the download labels reports on AgriIntel. On the label information database, we have the download label section. This is our most concise report type on AgriIntel, and it allows you to get a quick reference for a specific product should you be looking for something in that regard. Please note that you can download labels and SDSs from any of the other sections on the website, but this is just the quickest report to access. For today's exercise, we're just going to look at one report for the download labels, just to show you what fields are available in that report. We can either start our search by any of these search by active or search by crop or search by targets, and using the filters on screen, you're able to find um, your answer that you're looking for in the report. So it doesn't matter where you start your search, you're still able to get your result. So in this case, we're going to do a search by crop we use and look for certain active ingredients. We could have started a search by searching by an active and then filtering by a crop, but today we're just going to look at search by crop we use. Once we click on that, you'll arrive at a homepage that looks similar to this, and on all of the pages on AgriIntel, you'll have an optional filter available. And that is exactly what it says. It is an optional filter. You do not need to use this, but it does make your search easier as um, some of the reports can get quite comprehensive. So it's always advised to make a few searches on the search page before accessing the report here. All you'll need to do is click on the down arrow for the optional filter that you want to make use of. You can make use of as many of the optional filters at the same time should you require, but you don't need to either which way. So let's say we want to look at all the cruciferous vegetables that are registered. So we're going to make use of the select crop or use group. Once we've clicked on the down arrow, we're able then to scroll down or type in the cruciferous vegetables and you'll pick it up like that and you just select it. And what's important to note, even after making a selection, your crop or use list still indicates crop or uses that are not necessarily cruciferous vegetables. It is important then to click on the filter button in order for your search to pull through. So any optional filters that you've used, you need to click on filter before you continue. Once you've clicked on filter, you will now see that the system is only showing you cruciferous vegetables. Let's say we only want to look at a few of the cruciferous vegetables and not all of them. So I'm just going to click on broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage and cauliflower for this exercise and then I'm going to click on the add button. Now this is the principle for all the filters on AgriIntel. You will have a selection available to you in the left hand block and then you can either add or add all and then everything that you've selected will then move to the right hand block. Whatever is visible in the right hand block is what you will see in your report. Once you've made the selections for your crops that you'd like to see, you then have to go but further and choose one of your refined search options. This just allows you to streamline your search a little bit further, but you have to make at least one more selection in any of the options available to you. You can make selections in each of the, the blocks, but for this exercise, we're only going to choose active ingredient. And what it's done already now is that the system is showing you all the active ingredients registered on those particular crops that we've got currently in the database. Let's say we want to search for a Zoxystrobin um, specifically. So in the search bar, I'm just going to type in the first three or four letters, and it's advised to just type a few letters in um, because the spelling that you're typing in versus what is in the database might differ and it might not pick it up. So always just type in three or four letters um, in order to, to see what, what's happening in the database. But once you've typed up, the system will automatically start filtering out anything that contains those letters. Now we have the options available, but let's say we only want to look at what's registered on a Zoxystrobin on its own and not in combination with another active ingredient. So we're just going to click on a Zoxystrobin, we're going to click on add, and then it moves to the right hand block. The next active ingredient, let's say we want to look at all the copper containing compounds. So again, we're just going to type in the first three letters and the system is then filtering out the, the three copper compounds that are registered on the crops that we've selected. Let's say we only want to look at copper hydroxide. 
we can click on copper hydroxide, click on add, and it moves to the right hand block. You can then choose uh, different targets or different trade names should you want to continue. But for the purpose of this exercise, we're just going to click on submit and see which compounds containing azoxystrobin and copper hydroxide are registered on the cruciferous vegetables that we've selected. Uh, once you clicked on submit, the report will then generate. The first few columns of this report are exactly the same in all of the reports in the label database. So firstly, we're dealing with our hazard class on the left hand side, and this is basically the color band that is available on the, the label itself. You then have an option to actually download the PDF of the label or the SDS and save this to your computer. We have the UN number, which is only found on the download labels reports and nowhere else on the website. So this is just the quick reference to obtain the UN number. Next up, we have the active ingredient of the product, which is registered. And if it has multiple active ingredients, um, next, we have the trade name, so the name of the product um, that has been registered, and then the registration number. So AgriIntel currently displays what is registered under Act 36 with an L number, and we will be looking at possibly adding in registrations in future. Next up, we have the other country registrations. So AgriIntel focuses on the registrations in South Africa, but some of those registrations have additional registrations in other countries like Botswana, Namibia, or Malawi, or Mozambique, for example. So should that registration have an additional registration in another country, we're just displaying that registration number for your reference. So you are able to filter on these and see which are registered in other countries. Please note, we are not listing products which are only registered in these countries. It's only products which are registered here in South Africa first with an additional registration elsewhere. So please contact your registration holder if you require more information about a particular label in that other country. Next, we have the registration holder. So this column is basically showing you the company that holds the registration for that particular L number and registration number. The associate registration holder, however, is the larger company. So these associate registration holders may have multiple registration holders linked under their umbrella. So if you're searching for an associate registration holder, you will be able to see the various registration holders linked to them. So it might be a broader search if you're looking for a particular registration holder. If we use the scroll bar at the bottom of the page and scroll it towards the right, we will be able to see the rest of the download labels report. And this is where the difference comes in between the download labels and the rest of the reports on the label database. So for the crop or use and the target, it is indicating the crops and the targets that, well, the crops that we've indicated in our search and the targets that it's registered on. But it's not necessarily showing you the link between which target is linked to which crop. It's just giving you a snapshot overview of what is available on that particular label. If you'd like to see a line by line account, you are able to access this information in the search registration information or the other two reports available. Next, we have the scientific name, and this is the scientific name as indicated on the label for the target. Again, this is pulled in the download labels reports. Next, we have the category. So has the product been classified as a fungicide, insecticide, adjuvant or herbicide? That can be found in this column. We have the registration status column. So as mentioned before, the products are currently registered in South Africa at the moment. If a product has been cancelled, we remove it from the website. And should a product um, be registered but not currently marketed, we will indicate this in the registration status. So just be, bear in mind that the product may not be available to you at that time, should you require to use it. Next, we have the label reference and the database reference. And these are two very important columns which are available in all the reports, just as a reference to let you know how up to date that particular product's information is on the website. So a registration holder will send us a label 
and the reference number on that particular label that is uploaded to the website will become the label reference. However, the data in the database will be updated at a later stage, and this will be using a reference number of a label to capture that information. So sometimes the label reference will be more up to date than the database content itself using a different reference number. So in these cases, it's always advised to consult with the PDF of the label, which will always be the most up to date information on the website. And it's advised to always consult a label before application. If we scroll to the front of the report again, at the top of the reports, you will always find a filter option. These filters allow you to filter on screen on certain things in order to make your search a little bit more condensed. So let's say we want to look at all these products which are registered in Namibia as well. So we're going to make use of the other country filter and it's going to show you a list of the options available in that column. So we're just going to select Namibia and the report will automatically filter out the products that have got a registration in Namibia as well. Please note at the bottom of the report, you also have your hazard class and the key um, should you require that as well. Next up, we have the hide show columns feature, and this is also available on all of the Agri Intel reports. It is quite a useful tool if you do not want to see all of the information on the on screen report. So all you'll need to do is click on that and it'll show you all the headings in that particular report. If you do not want to see certain headings, all you'll need to do is deselect the headings that you do not want to see. And once you've done that, the report will then be condensed with just a few columns that you actually do want to see. And this also makes on-screen viewing much easier. And this will be information that you've obtained. You are then able to either print the document directly, or you can download it as a CSV, or you can download it as a PDF report. Please note that the information downloaded from the website is to be used for your own purposes and not to be sent on to any third party or incorporated into any other program. Once you've obtained the information, you are then able to click on the, the back button, which will then take you back to the original search report. And it's advised then if you'd like to use this report again, just to click on the clear all button in order to erase your previous searches. It's always advised to use this clear all button so that you're starting with a clean, fresh search function before uh, proceeding to look for further information on the same report. This basically summarizes what information you can find on the download labels report. And should you require any more information, please do not hesitate to contact us.